you're watching the news at all, you are aware that carnage is going on in God's holy land, Israel. The Temple Mount is under attack, Jews are under attack, and there is no peace in the Middle East, even though we're, well, commanded to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and I hope you are. Joining me to discuss this is the familiar voice of Pastor Stephen Curry from Holy Land Missions. He's an evangelical pastor in that region. He was one of our speakers at Understanding the Times, Fall 2014, and he ignited my audience. Audience. I get acquainted with Stephen and the great outreach he has. He and his entire family have paid a serious price for being Arabs who love God, Jesus, and Israel. I'll give contact info in a minute. Stephen, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Jan. It's always a pleasure. You know, Stephen, this violence that's escalating so, I mean, just tragically here in the last several months, uh, even in the last few weeks, bloodshed just being spilled, including the Temple Mount. Can you give us any insight on this? As as we can tell bloodshed is really spilling right and left, eye for an eye, tooth for mm-hmm. tooth is no longer just ink on paper. The eye for an eye, tooth for tooth is becoming a prevalent, tangible reality. And a lot of people, Jan, don't understand is that Jerusalem sits on three valleys, the Kidron, the Hinnom, and the Tyropian. Jerusalem is made of three mountain heads, uh, starting from the north, Moriah, Ophel, and Zion. Of course, we know that Jerusalem sits on Zion's part of the mountain. The, the reason I mention all these is because each name that I mentioned, whether it be the three valleys or the three mountaintops, they all have a meaning. And what's amazing is the meanings of them means the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And what's so amazing is the significance on the bloodshed, that's the bloodshed where it's been spread recently in Jerusalem the last uh, month or so, the blood's been spilling has mostly been eastern part of Jerusalem. And that part is resembled to the name of the, of the second valley or the, or the mountain, which actually is resembled to the sun. One of the weapons of choice, at least uh, in the fall, the weapon of choice, and I think that's probably going to be a continued weapon of choice, and this again would be by uh, Islamic uh, terror who are uh, getting into primarily Jerusalem, but some other areas, uh, drivers running into Israeli pedestrians? Uh, Help us understand this. The philosophy of this is, again, they are trying to make a point that at all means we will show the world, we will show the enemy, which is in this case it's the Jewish people towards the Muslim Arab communities. We will show them that at all means we will revenge our land, we will revenge our religion. This is another way to let them know that nothing will stop them, nothing will change the fact that they will always be enemies. You have even kind of, and and I'm saying this, I'm saying this in all seriousness, that you, Stephen Curry, you've actually reached out to ISIS which is a brave thing to do. I mean, I know you've sent them a letter. I'm not so sure you've heard back from them, but you've sent them a letter. It's gotten big readership online. Talk to us just a little bit about this. You know, the Lord's been speaking a lot to me. If Jerusalem is the most influential city in the world, dealing with the three major religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, then why not write a a message to them? The the letter was a one, eight and a half by 11, and and the title of it, Paul was once like ISIS. Mm -hmm. ISIS, could you be like Paul? And the premise of the letter is, I tell them I actually understand what you're doing is uh, is what, you, what you're what you taught to do. I actually tell them I, I respect the fact that they're actually living out what they believe. I'm, I don't agree with their philosophy, but I, I tell them, I know I understand you're doing what you're doing because that's what you believe. But I challenge, I challenge them in the concept through Paul's life, as Paul did the same. He was killing Christians, beheading Christians everywhere, stoning them, until the Lord appeared to him on Damascus Road. And in this, in the meeting, that encounter that God has with the uh, with Paul in the cloud, the the voice challenges Paul and tells him, "Why do you persecute me? Why do you persecute me?" And then we see here that the Lord wasn't pleased with Paul's action and blinds him for three days. So in the letter, I challenge them. I say this story is true because the Quran teaches us to believe what the Bible says. If that's the case, then if the Lord wasn't pleased with Paul, could at the same time the Lord not be pleased with what you're doing as well? So I challenge the premise and to sort of seek out the truth and seek out the true Lord. And what does a true Lord really want from them? And that's the challenge that I, I place before them. Talking to Pastor Steve Curry, Holy Land Missions, holylandmissions.org. He's got an evangelical outreach in the heart of Israel. We've had him on 
here a number of times, spoke at my fall 2014 uh, conference. As I said in the intro, has paid quite a price, his dad, his uncle, others, for being an Arab who stands by Israel, who loves God, who loves the Lord. Have you had any response to this little outreach to ISIS, Stephen? <laughs> well, we've um, we've definitely, you know, you have to understand there's the, the ISIS mentality has a lot of followers. They might not call themselves ISIS, right. but they have people to share their philosophies. We've had thousands and thousands of hits on, on Facebook. It, of course, this was written in Arabic, and the thousands of hits were condemning it. Some were praising it. Many didn't like the fact that I, I challenged them to come to Christ, but they did like the fact that I challenged the premise of what they're doing. Could what they be doing not pleasing to God? We got death threats, the usual thing. Of course, I did not put my home address or anything in this specific <laughs> letter, but my name is out there and the Facebook is out there. So changing the world comes at a price. Are you willing to pay that price? Yes, exactly. And at Jerusalem and Israel, that's a part of the Levant, and I've talked about that here on the program, and I've written about it extensively. The Levant includes uh, even part of Egypt, and it's a section of, that goes far beyond Iraq and Syria, and uh, the ultimate prize for this terrorist state would be Jerusalem, and that's why what you've done is extremely brave, but that is part of your nature. Now, Stephen, the turmoil that's gone on, that's actually literally in your backyard or front yard. You were telling me that when some of this terror activity that's been going on here in um, mid-2014 and late-2014, it's right outside your door. What's going on? And some of this is spiritual warfare, you feel, and I would agree. You know, we did a small research, and in the exact location where we are now, nothing in this manner has happened since any records can recall it, until, of course, we moved into this most recent location, which much of what's happening happened outside, even though they were not directly attacked attacks on our church. But when we noticed after talking about it with some of my leaders, it is almost every neighborhood we move into, it seems that evil stirs up and within the vicinity, within a few minutes walk or almost directly outside the main streets we're in. So the, the last three, four locations we've been kicked out of, it, while we're there, it seems stop, trouble, riots, killing, bloodshed happens either within the vicinity or outside our church, uh, things that have never happened in the history of that location, even though there were not direct attacks on our church. But that just shows you that where the spirit of God is. Mm. It seems like e- evil chases and evil goes after to stir up the stir up the hearts and the souls of people. But this is the battle for Jerusalem. That's what I'm declaring. 2015. This is our battle for Jerusalem. Our battle.